we'll discuss how to do ranked games and manage your facility with your players coming and going. This screen here shows a session management, and you can see at the top the times, the field that you're going to be at. Um, in your case, it would be the location, how long the session is, and you can also see how many remaining slots there are and the maximum slots. As you can see, we have a couple sample players that have checked in already, and this screen will be on display at your front desk. You simply choose what they have done to pay, and you can choose front counter, online, it will be automatic if they paid already. Just get them checked in. We'll just mark these guys as paid at the front counter. And once you have everybody set, the next thing you're going to do is go to the equipment assignment screen. Here, you'll see your players that have checked in already, and up at the top, you'll see that session. You can hit refresh to show the newer players that have been added if you've come to the screen prior. You can also select a different session. You can also add teams up at the top right. You can click on the team that you want them to go to, or you can click auto assign, and it'll fill out the teams based on the best match to make sure everything is even. So we'll click auto assign, and you'll see that it put a couple players on the left and a couple players on the right based on their rank. Up at the top, it'll give you a warning if the teams are unbalanced or if it looks like the game might not be fair, and uh, you can change that by deleting the player and then adding them to the other team and then it'll give you another warning depending on what you're doing or nothing at all. Here you can click the color of the team and change that if you would like and then you can also click on the team name and change it. Next we'll get our equipment assigned to our players and get them synced in. We'll start with the black team and you can do this either automatically with the RFID hallway or you can do it manually which we'll show you in a minute. So we're going to go ahead and take have Andy's card and swipe him through the hallway. You'll see to tell him to proceed, and you heard a beep to confirm that he was synced automatically. The next player can come through, and this will be on the camo team. He'll step through the hallway, and he's confirmed sync. Now we'll show you how to manually do this last player, just in case you don't have an RFID hallway, or if something goes wrong. Up at the top right here, I'm going to click manual sync, and you'll have about 10 seconds to do this before it resets. Here, I can find all of my equipment and assign that to him based on what I have in the armory. At the top, you can also click on filters based on the names that you have everything entered in as in the armory. So we'll click on camo, and we're going to assign camo 2 to him. You heard the beep to confirm, and now the players are ready to go. Once all of your players are synced, you can go over to set up game mode match or set up custom match. Game mode has a bunch of preset matches already that cannot be customized, but you can change the time and the countdown on each. Custom match looks almost the exact same, but you have a lot more flexibility in setting up your games. We'll go over that next. For now, we're going to set up a game mode match. You can see right here all the different modes, and you can call us or look online to see what each one does, but we're going to do a team death match for now. We'll leave the game at 5 minutes and the countdown at 5 seconds. we got to assign our unassigned players to their teams, and then we're ready to go you'll see the status of the equipment right here. If it's offline and it doesn't refresh within a few seconds, something is not connected and you'll have to get that figured out. Once you're ready to go, you can hit create match. The equipment will load and it'll bring you to the game screen. There's a few things to keep in mind before you get the game started. In the middle, you can see the overall view and stats of the game, including the game timer, the total amount of kills, and a, a timeline underneath that explaining what's going on. In the bottom right, there's a zoom button where you can control how big everything is for external viewing or on your own monitor and you can also look at a detailed view of the event log. You can hover over a player at any time and do a bunch of different things to them. If they're wearing a shock belt, you can shock them. If you want to knock them out of the game, you can kill them. You can also revive them, heal them to give them back health, or give them a hit, which will take away from their health. You can also ping that player to make sure the equipment is connected. Once you're ready to go, hit play. The player gear will beep, and you'll see the countdown on your screen the players can start attacking each other. You can see health being taken away during the game. If you have a respawn box, that player will go back to, this, to that box, push it to come back in the game automatically. You can also click on them and revive them back into the game. You'll see at the timeline at the bottom here which player is doing what to that player. I'm going to revive Midge and kill them with the operator. At the bottom you can see that he was eliminated from the game, but I can revive both of these players back in. The game, because it's a team deathmatch, will only end when the time is up, and then the winner will be declared with the total kills being the highest. We're going to stop the game early. 
Once you stop the game, it'll ask you which team is winning or won, and you can click OK or choose to confirm. Now these stats are automatically uploaded to the barracks, and everything that these players did in that game will go towards their rank, and they can view those stats online at the barracks. After the game, the side will pop up again, and you can choose to do another game mode match or set up a custom match. We'll set up a custom match this time. I can assign my players to the teams. If they don't appear right here, just hit the refresh button at the top. Make sure you're on the right session. Here I can choose the time of the game. We'll leave it at 60 seconds, 5 second countdown. And you can choose the mission, which determines how the game ends. You can do last team standing, last man standing, time limit, or any of these other ones. We'll just choose time limit for now. You can choose friend and fire as well. Over here I can click on that player and change their health, ammo, respawn, and respawn time, as well as their mode. Health, I can make whatever I want. Zero for ammo is unlimited. It'll go by the magazine and the smart mag that the gun is using. For max respawn, the value of negative one equals infinity. You can also put zero so they can only respawn, or they can't respawn at all. Auto respawn is the amount of time it takes for them to come back into the game. If you click on mode, if they're using a zombie or medic headband, you can choose that. So we'll change the black team. We'll give them a little bit, uh, we'll give them two max respawns. 5 health, and we'll make their respawn time 3 seconds. Once we have everything set, we're going to go ahead and hit create match. The game screen looks the exact same and everything operates the same way. So we'll click play to start, and the players can begin going. You can see the timeline at the bottom is the same thing, and the game will end automatically after the time runs out. You can also hit the stop button. Again, you'll choose which team wins and go from there. Go back under the top left here to set up your next game. 